These are the hard men of a ruthless regime reduced to tears. The man in blue is Andre Rosales, until yesterday a loyal soldier in Venezuela's army. Now he's thrown away his uniform, crossed the border and surrendered to Colombian troops. I'd rather die or live on the streets here than kneel before that dictatorship, he says. Every deserter is greeted like a hero. Almost 600 so far, each a crack in the structure that keeps Nicolas Maduro in power, but not yet enough to signal its collapse. Williams Cancino still wears the black of Venezuela's feared special police. He holds the rank of lieutenant, but tells me he could no longer obey his orders to crush the opposition. Humana de los venezolanos, de mi familia, de los, de los militares, de los policías, de cualquier persona que habita en Venezuela, está sintiendo en carne propia el sufrimiento que ha generado Nicolás Maduro, el usurpador, la revolución bolivariana socialista. He claims 90% of the police and army want to defect, but dare not leave for fear of reprisals. Planificando de mi parte, yo vengo planificando los hace tiempo. Los otros compañeros no lo hacen por miedo a que lo encarcelen, a que lo maten, a que le persigan la familia. So Maduro's army still guards a border that is now sealed, where they confront angry Venezuelans trapped on the other side. There are daily skirmishes now beyond the smoke and the barricades of Venezuela under more pressure and more isolated than ever before. But this side mounting frustration amongst opposition activists. The regime they so despise is still standing. Another injured protester is carried away. This is a one-sided battle. This young man tells us they will fight Maduro, but his army has guns, they have only catapults. With official crossing points closed, Venezuelans must brave bandits and border guards along illegal routes out of the country. This family sold their house, their car and every possession they couldn't carry to buy the chance of a fresh start in Colombia. But there are tears for the grandmother too sick to come with them and bitter words for the government they've left behind. We hope that Maduro goes as soon as possible because we have given up everything to live. I don't know what our destiny will be. But for now at least it is the people on the move and Nicolas Maduro who is staying put. John Ray News at 10 on the Venezuelan border.